everybody, Bobby G here, along with the lovely, as usual, Mrs. G. Hi, guys. Hi, Mrs. G. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> so, guys, we are, because of your suggestions, once again, outside of Don Laughlin's Riverside Resort Hotel and Casino. But no, we are not going to the Prime Rib Room. We are going to the... Gourmet Room. That's right. A lot of people have recommended uh, for us to try the Gourmet Room. We have never been here. Uh, we looked at the menu online. Mm -hmm. um, looks pretty nice. Looks good. Looks Absolutely. a little pricey. But, yeah. but uh, you know, it looks price-wise like comparable to the range. But uh, that's actually on our list to hit eventually, too. So, anyway, guys, we're going to go inside and give this a shot. We did call ahead and make a reservation. Um, their website says that that is recommended. So uh, if you do want to eat here, I would recommend you probably make a reservation. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Looking forward to a nice meal. Yeah. Well, I, I do want to add though, I, I appreciate all the comments and stuff that people have been making. Oh, yeah. uh, most people have been very positive. We're having fun doing these. Um, we, I thank you for your suggestions. I thank you for watching. Um, if you're new to the, the channel or happen to stumble across this, please like and subscribe. Um, give us a little support. We would appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back in touch once we go inside to the restaurant. Bye, guys. Alrighty, We are working our way into the entrance of Don Laughlin's Riverside Resort Hotel and Casino on our way to the gourmet room under the big parking canopy. A little wet out there. I think a freak rainstorm, thunderstorm just went through. So we're going to uh, head on up and see how this is. All right, we are inside the casino, working our way to the gourmet room. We have to mask up. Mask mandates are still in place at the time of this video. another wonderful casino nice young crowd in here today a little more uh, spry than normal all right there we go second floor gourmet room and bar prime rib room up the escalators we go oh, oh, oh. Hi, Mrs. G. Hi. Nice mustache. Thank you. I grew it myself. All right. Uh, I'm around. We go. And according to them, they have they got everything you're craving. So the gourmet room, everything you're craving. All right. We're getting ready to head into the gourmet room. That is the hour Sunday, Monday. Thursday, 5 to 9, Friday and Saturdays, 5 to 10, closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays, no tank tops. So you can go topless or t shirt, apparently. Quick little pan of the gourmet room. Nice river view. Sort of old school style. I'm waiting for our table right now. We had a reservation for two. Okay. Uh, what's that name? Tracy. Tracy. Alright, Tracy. Right this way. Alrighty. Would well, the two of you like a wine list? Would you no. like one? No? Okay. Thank you, though. No problem. No wine list. No, no wine list. I guess we will not be sitting by the window. We will be sitting up here. What's easier for you? Um, let's do a booth. The booth? Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so we're sitting here looking at the menus. They brought out this wonderful looking bread basket with uh, little pats of butter. And there's Tracy just eyeballing the butter and the bread, wanting to eat. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Yeah. Um, we're both having iced tea tonight. No, uh, no wine or anything like that. And I'll go over the menu real quick. Um, it's actually four pages long. All right, a quick glance at the menu. We have our uh, cold appetizers. You have your hot appetizers. Gourmet room classics. 
I go over here to seafood, poultry, the steakhouse specialties. We haven't decided exactly what we want yet. Um, I may do a lobster with a, uh, I guess it's a surf and turf. And Tracy's still deciding. And then there's our pasta, seafood, and desserts. So quite a, quite a broad menu there. Four pages of different goodies to choose from. All righty, so we decided what we're going to order. Uh, we're going to start doing it with a shrimp cocktail. As Tracy sits there and devours the, the carbohydrates. <laughs> and then she is going to have a coquille St. Jock, which is uh, the scallops, and shrimp, lobster, and a light Newberg sauce. And then I am going to be doing the where's it at there and i will be doing the ribeye delmonico so we'll get a little bit of seafood a little bit of steak uh, with the sides and uh we'll see how that goes all right so our appetizer which is shrimp cocktail just showed up five very large delicious looking shrimp cocktail sauce comes with uh, lemon lime and it looks like a cocktail sauce with sort of a, a mustard mixture uh, looks very good. Also a separate plate with lemon. So, Miss Tracy is going to dig into the shrimp. Look at that shrimp. It's beautiful. Try the traditional first. Next right. shrimp will be the mustard. Oh, that's perfect. Is it good? Mm -hmm. well, tell me about the mustard now. I haven't had the mustard yet. Well, dip the rest of it in the mustard. Just dip it. It's all right. It's just us. Yeah, it's just a creamy Dijon sauce. It's a, I like it. Okay, so it's a Dijon type mm -hmm. mustard. Cool. Very nice. So far, very nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Looks delicious. All right. So far, I'm very happy with everything. The service has been outstanding. The, uh, the setup of the, the restaurant is very nice, sort of elegant. Very tall windows overlooking the river um, in the evening. So, so far, very nice. Very happy. All right. So we're getting a table. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> table side Caesar salad. By the uh, wonderful Charles, who's been doing an amazing job. Anchovy okay? Oh, oh yes. yes. All right. If he had said no, I'd have ah. muffled him. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you take it easy on me. Hey, hey. <laughs> 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 I used to do this table side at a restaurant in Carmel, Indiana. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it makes my heart so, so happy. So you know, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we just started going back to doing the table side about a month and a half ago. Uh -huh. yeah. for, since we reopened last June of last year, we were doing no table side at all. Right. Yeah, didn't they like make you couldn't use the pepper or anything for a while yeah, there? Yes, and that was the stupidest part. Yeah, it's a pepper grinder. <laughs> We're the only ones touching it. Exactly. We sanitize them, but no, they don't. Yeah. Weird. Hey, yeah. A little bit of egg yolk in there. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, sir. Worcestershire, sir. Uh-huh. Olive uh -huh. oil. Beautiful. <laughs> he was probably like, oh, crap. He's ordering a salad too. Now I can come out there and mix it. <laughs> there is nothing. I love table side Caesar. Nothing better than homemade Caesar. Yep. I'll tell you what. That's the important part. Pecan. Parmesan. 
Beautiful. Leave that in. There it goes. This man knows his salad. <laughs> I think Charlie is a man of many skills. <laughs> we used to do back in the day so much table side. We just, and uh, before we shut down, we also did the banana sauce from Cherry Pupil, yes. <coughs> Crepe Suzette, Cafe Diablo. Mm -hmm. We deboned over so the table. And that's all gone. The only table side we're doing now is the Caesar, the spinach salad, with the hot bacon dressing, rack of lamb, and Chateau Brion. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah, we like it. We used to make fettuccine Alfredo from scratch at the table. Oh. Sauce and appetizer. Steak oh. Diane from scratch at the table. Cooked the whole dinner, the meat, everything, made the sauce. Well, hopefully sooner, yeah. sooner than later, it gets a little more back to normal. It's probably a lot that will not yeah. come back. Yeah. Awesome. That looks amazing. It is. All right. Charlie, thank you. No. No, thank you. Nope, we're good. Thank you very much. Okay. okay, so we just finished our wonderful Caesar salads, and then they have dropped off a little bit of sorbet with a uh, looks like a little mint leaf to cleanse the palate before they serve the main dish all right so our food just showed up now tracy what do you have here i have coquille saint jacques which is it is um shrimp scallops and lobster in a light newberg sauce surrounded by mashed potatoes it almost looks like a little pie it is. It looks amazing. Yes. All right. And then I have the Delmonico ribeye, which uh, looks amazing, medium rare, and then sliced yellow potatoes with a truffle butter on there. White so, chocolate. So, so far, everything is looking absolutely amazing. It is. And we are ready to dig in. All right. So our food has been delivered and it looks amazing. We're getting ready to dig in. Um, I have to apologize, Tracy reminded me. Um, when I came in, I, I still had my hat on, so I, I took it off. I probably have silly hat hair right now, but uh, yeah, you know, I have enough sense to know that in a nicer restaurant, you don't want to really be wearing a hat. So I apologize for being rude, um, didn't realize it. I'll let Tracy go first. I might not be able to. This is steaming hot. Okay. Mm. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Really good. All right. Let's stick that here. Very nice shiny stick, right? I'm going to try this uh, ribeye. Feels very tender. I ordered this medium rare. Um, it looks pretty medium darn good. So, take a bite of this beautiful steak. Oh my god. Good. No, let's be hungry. So, this is. That is like. You hardly have to chew it. Melt in your mouth good. Here, you've got to try a piece of this. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, guys, that looks amazing. Very good. I'm going to try a little bit of my potato. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Giving you a big bite of lobster. Oh, really? Lobster? Mmm. Mmm. 
We're all good, nothing else? Newberg sauce is the bomb. That is awesome. Thank you, Charlie. It's great. Everything is wonderful. Thank you so much. All right, now we'll try a piece of my potato. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Would you like a potato? Yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty darn good so far. All right, guys, we're going to get back to finishing up our dinner. And as usual, when we are done, we will give you our final thoughts. I can already tell you they're going to be pretty good. They're going to um, be good. Service has been great. Yep. So far, the food has been great. Absolutely. Uh, our, our waiter, Charlie, has been great. Um, his, little, his assistant running around, keeping the water full and everything has been really good. So, anyway, we're going to dig in before this gets cold, and we will uh, be back in touch in a little bit. Okay, Tracy, what's better than one piece of broccoli in Newburgh sauce? Two pieces of broccoli in Newburgh sauce. <laughs> mm. How's that Newburgh sauce? Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah. So good. Pretty tasty, isn't it? Oh yes. Yeah. I'm enjoying this steak immensely. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just got our bill. Uh, we both had iced tea, so no uh, expensive cocktails or wine this time. We did get a shrimp cocktail, uh, the Caesar salad for two, and then a ribeye and the uh, uh, Tracy's St. Jacques. And so our total was 128.35 with tax. Uh, we're looking at just under $140 for the two of us. Uh, there's a little guide to tip. We will probably tip better than that. We always usually do because our server Charlie did an excellent job. All right, guys, that's where we're at. Hey, everybody, Bobby G here along with the lovely Mrs. G. Hi. Uh, we just got done dining at the Gourmet Room here at Don Laughlin's Riverside Resort. Yes. It was fantastic. It was so good. Yeah. Tell us what you thought. Tell us what you had. Oh, I had the Coquille Saint-Jacques, which, I mean, most of the stuff on the menu is very... Um, standard classic classic dishes you're not going to find any nouveau food here you're not going to find things cooked with a twist it is very old school old feel. school classy old school yes very yeah. classy old school yeah. and there's a reason that coquille saint jacques and steak diane and things of that nature still Delmonico are being yeah. served because yeah. it's so good mm -hmm. it was delicious <laughs> Um, I had the Delmonico steak. Uh, we didn't realize it, but uh, we ordered a <laughs> table-side <laughs> Caesar salad, which was a little charge extra. We didn't realize that it wasn't part of the, uh, the, the cost of the meal, which was fine because Perfectly Charles fine. did was... an amazing job making that salad. Mm. That is probably one of the best Caesars I've had in a long, long time. Yep. Um, the service in there was amazing. It was um, you top couldn't, notch. You couldn't take a sip of water without that glass getting refilled. Yep. Um, Andre was on point. Yeah, and our server, Charles, did an excellent job, uh, answered any questions. Yep. Um, great I, personality. Great personality. The restaurant has a really nice ambulance. Ambiance. Ambiance. <laughs> um, but we really enjoyed it. Yep. It was uh, it was really good. I would highly recommend coming back here. Um, I've eaten at the range before. So mm -hmm. this would probably be, you know, price-wise in that category. Quality, um, about that category, except I think the range is going to give you a little newer flair. Yeah, they're totally... Yeah. different restaurants right. they're but, both high class but they're yeah. totally different but i would say that that the gourmet room and the range are probably going to be your two nicer restaurants in uh in town yes got a mayfly on you i did yeah little flies are all over the place outside right now uh but anyway um we really liked it we had a, yep. a good time i would definitely come back here again this would be a great place to uh to bring company if you save up a few extra bucks <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, I would have to say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Did it hit the G-spot? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, guys, that's our review on the 
gourmet room. Uh, we thought it was excellent. And thank you all for recommending it to yeah, us. Yeah, well, I appreciate the recommendations. Um, you know, and, and down the road, we will eventually get to the prime rib room again. When we went there, we were not happy with it. That was just our honest opinion. This place, uh, total opposite. Mm -hmm. But um, down the road, when we get a chance, we will hit the prime rib, prime rib room up again and give it a, a, a second chance. Maybe it was an off night. I heard they're carving table side now, which they weren't doing when we went. Yeah. So, you know, to be fair, we will give it another shot. But uh, tonight, man, the food was great. If, uh, if you get a chance, I would definitely check this out. Thanks again for watching. Please Thanks, like and guys. subscribe. And we will see you later. Bye.